summer we're learning what's underneath Utah. Good for Utah's Kylie Burris and photographer Gus Seashore have been traveling the state finding the stories behind Utah's geologic history. That's right. This week, though, they didn't go anywhere they planned. They made an unexpected stop on top of a volcano right here in Utah. Utah has an incredibly rich volcanic history, but it isn't until you're standing on top of a volcano and you're looking out on the flows of lava that you can really understand and appreciate the impact that it's had on our state. It's beautiful and serene on Cedar Mountain. It's a, a pretty recent volcano. Just up the road from Cedar Breaks. There's several of them up here on Cedar Mountain. Not what you typically expect from a volcano. Recent, geologically speaking, most of the volcanoes in this area have erupted within the last million years. Usually, we think of this. Explosions, smoke, bright red magma. But right here, right now, it's quiet. In Utah, there's, there's quite a few areas like this where there's a, huge lava flows. Years after the eruption, it's calm, almost forgotten. It's really the most recent part of Utah's geologic history is, is volcanism. The caldera looks more like a harmless rock pile, and the dark volcanic rock is now a natural part of the landscape. The Markagunt Plateau, or Cedar Mountain, that we're on here is probably has one of the, the most extensive volcanic fields in Utah. Um, I'd say that it covers, you know, hundreds of square miles. It's left nothing but an eerie reminder of its potential power. Just to the west over here, there's actually large uh, caldera complexes that they are bigger than Yellowstone. Each rock telling a small part of Utah's history. Navajo Lake, just up the road here, was formed because the lava flow dammed up the valley. Volcanism is really an active part of geology. It's a really interesting part of geology. And if you get to be there, like with Mount St. Helens, and actually see the things erupt, it's, it's really exciting. The big question whenever we talk about volcanoes is always, will it ever erupt again? And given how young this cinder cone is, that's a pretty good possibility. Reporting from Garfield County, Kylie Verse, good for Utah.